Today I'm gonna to share with you the one lesson that ultimately led to me being fired from my job. Once you realize this, you can't really go back. Now, this lesson is a pretty straightforward lesson. It's very simple and I'm gonna get into it here in a second, but just know that 95% of the people don't even realize this. So with that being said, for many of you, this may be the first time that you're actually hearing this and seeing it explained and seeing how much sense it really makes. But for those of you who do already know this, it's going to seem so simple. All right, let's get right into this. So somewhere along the line growing up, I don't know if this was taught in middle school, high school, where this was even taught, we all thought the same thing about making money and getting a job. The equation was this, your hourly pay times the amount of hours you work equals your paycheck. I don't know exactly where this came from, but so many people just understand making money to this extent. They don't realize that there is something else out there. So what most people try to do throughout their whole life is one of three things. The first thing is they're trying to negotiate a higher hourly pay. That way they can still work their part-time 20 hours a week or full-time 40 hours a week and just get paid more per hour. The only problem with this is it can take you 20, 30 years until you're making a considerable amount of money. Now that's not given. What happens if you get fired? Then you have to start over at your next job and go from there. Now the second way is people work more hours. They either go from part-time to full-time or they work overtime on weekends or holidays. Now the only problem with this is you're giving away your time. You're literally being a slave and people brag about how much overtime they're making, their time and a half pay or whatever that is. But the side effect that no one talks about is this is taking away from your relationships, your family, everything at home. You're literally trading that valuable time, your weekends and holidays to be at work making a little bit more money per hour. So with that said, it should be pretty easy to understand that option one and option two are both bad options. So this is where the third option comes in. Now only so many people understand this third option and that's that that original equation, how much you make per hour times how many hours you work equals your paycheck is not the only way. That original equation is the definition of active income. That's where you go in, you trade your time for money. But there's also passive income. This has a lot of hype around it and people associate this with buying stocks and getting dividends, buying a rental property and renting it out for passive income. But there are so many other ways to actually do this. Once I realized that I could start creating assets or creating things that would pay me passively over time, this is what led to me being fired from my job. What happened was once I learned this concept that going into work was not the only way I could make money, I started putting more of my energy and resources and brain power throughout the day towards my passive income streams that I was working on after work. And what happened was my mind was not in the active work. I was not putting my full attention to the job that I was doing actively. And this led to me taking less shifts every week at my job and being less flexible when they needed someone to cover on weekends that ultimately it came down to I could only work one day a week because I was putting so many resources into building passive income streams that my boss was basically like, look, you have to come back and be full time or you can't work here at all. And with that being said, my boss was smart. He knew I was transitioning into passive income. He knew where my brain was even when I came into work and he understood and he said, just basically go do your own thing. When you transition from being an employee and being in the employee mindset to being a business owner or building your own passive income assets that will work for you long-term, it's hard to put your full attention into your active income job. So try not to get caught up in trying to get a dollar raise here and there every six months and trying to work more hours to make more money kind of put that equation to the side and think about what could happen if you built assets that would pay you passively. Instead of doing that active income job, what can you start creating that can pay you long-term? If you haven't looked into making passive income yet and you want some pointers on it, I'll link a video up here that'll walk you through kind of the beginner ways to start making money online. That should start you into the transition of building passive income assets that'll pay you long-term. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any questions at all about this, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.